Wow, time 100. Well, it's an honor to be included on this list with so many amazing people. You know, when I got the call telling me I was on the Time 100 list, I was so excited that I accidentally hung up on the person. <laughs> but seriously, thank you for this incredible honor. Let's be honest. If we all use our voices and our talents to make a difference, we can actually change things. So let's keep fighting the good fight, and let's do it with a sense of humor, because if we can't laugh at ourselves, then seriously, what's the point? <laughs> well, folks, I'll tell you the point. You see, that whole cutie pie toast was written by none other than your friend, ChatGPT, <laughs> with the directive to write a funny speech for Time 100 in the tone of Natasha Lyonne. I'm guessing that's why it wound up sounding sort of Paula Poundstone in places, specifically the transitions. But seriously, remember Jiminy Cricket? Well, I barely hear about him anymore. Sign of the times, not to mention Tiny Tim. I mean, where the hell has Tiny Tim been lately? If we can figure out how to create AI that's gonna decimate society as we know it in the next three to five years, then surely we can find a way to bring Tiny Tim back first. <laughs> to be clear, I'm referring to the beloved 60s musician Tiny Tim, not the Dickens character. You know, ChatGPT would never bring up either of those guys in this speech, not without directly being asked to. No one asked me to, and yet here I am in all my wonderfully flawed humanity, telling you that Tiny Tim had a ukulele and sang a wonderful tune called Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Uh, now, I can tell some of you are still picturing the Dickens character, and that's fine. Live your life, you know, while it's still an option. But I digress, because I can and because I recently quit smoking. <laughs> Unlike old ChatGPT, who's always right on topic and would never quit smoking, cause frankly, Buddy Boy wouldn't even think to start, and certainly wouldn't have the balls to get on this stage in some weird strapless dress with practically no boob protection, <laughs> all to spew obscurities to a room full of intimidating people. <laughs> so here's a toast to the preservation of digression and non sequiturs and everything from vulnerability to vices, i.e. our humanity, so we can continue to live together in this crazy, disharmonious world that we love. Thanks, and God bless us, everyone. <laughs>